So, my Magnusites request that I react to the Magnus Effect. As if I don't know what the Magnus Effect is. Ask the many women that have laid in my path and they know the Magnus Effect. <laughs> Alright, what is the Magnus Effect? Let's find out what this some of them, um, 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 bitches. Were you one of the 20 million people who are amazed by our collaboration with Veritasium as we dropped the ball with backspin off the top of Gordon Dam and saw the Magnus effect in all its glory? Well, here we are on top of the world, amongst the clouds. We're going to see what the Magnus effect does for basketball from here. This will be insane. This is the insane Magnus effect. crazy. I mean, I have seen some ridiculous stuff in my time, but that would have to be up there. I mean, absolutely. How long did it fall for? It fell for like 25 seconds. And the unbelievable thing was that it didn't drop straight down, you know? That, that's the crazy part about the Magnus effect. Just by adding the backspin, instead of gravity taking over and it just falling straight down, it has like this diagonal path as it just flies, you yeah. know, like, I can't believe I just saw a basketball uh, fly. And all the conditions are crazy too, I mean, we've got wind, we've got cloud, and the one that I threw off managed to go right between the clouds, we were able to follow it all the way to the bottom. Yeah, it was really something special. If you haven't seen our collaboration video with Veritasium... Wait a minute, wait a minute, what do you mean if they haven't seen the collaboration? They've got like 20 million views in a week, you're either up here without internet or you're living under a rock. <laughs> I'm living under a rock. If you haven't seen it, I mean, you should have, but if you haven't, then you've got to check it out. Derek from Veritasium explains the science behind the Magnus Effect and why the basketball flies so far like it does. The link's in the description. Check it out if you haven't already. This is I'm going to watch that next. Right now. Right now. Okay. Hold on one second. All right, so that one's done. All right, now let's see the, the, the first one. Recently, some friends of mine went to the Gordon Dam in Tasmania, which is 126 and a half meters, or 415 feet high. Then they dropped a basketball over the edge. You can see that the basketball gets pushed around a bit by the breeze, but it lands basically right below where it was dropped. Now watch what happens when they drop another basketball, but this time with a bit of backspin. Whoa, look at that go! <laughs> uh, that's the Magnus effect, okay. I mean, one day to get back in the water, do you? This is Brett who just threw it. I literally just dropped it with a bit of spin, like I didn't even throw it, and it just took off. I like, had no idea that I was going to do that. And this is where I come in. The basketball was subject to the Magnus effect, which affects all rotating balls or cylinders as they fly through the air. And it works like this. As the basketball picks up speed, air on the front side of the ball is going in the same direction as its spin. And therefore, it gets dragged along with the ball and deflected back. Air on the other side is moving opposite to the ball spin, so the flow separates from the ball instead of getting deflected. The net result is the ball pushes air one way, so the air applies an equal force on the ball the other way. And this is known as the Magnus Effect, named after Heinrich Gustav Magnus, who described it in 1852. Mm. Of course, like Isaac Newton beat him to it by nearly 200 years, describing the flight of tennis balls at Cambridge College. But, you know, he's got enough stuff named after him. This effect is very important in sports like tennis, soccer, and golf. Uh, but could it have okay. non-sport applications? Perhaps. This is a sailboat. I know it doesn't look like a sailboat, but those aren't chimneys. They are spinning cylinders called Flettner rotors, and they take the place of the sails. 
they deflect crosswinds using the Magnus effect to propel the ship forwards. And this is a plane with spinning cylinders instead of wings. Using the Magnus effect, the cylinders actually generate more lift than traditional wings. However, they also generate way more drag, making them impractical. This plane only flew once, and then it crashed. But the Magnus effect is making a comeback. Here is an experimental rotor wing aircraft, which generates all its lift from spinning cylinders. And this is the E-Ship 1, which uses four spinning cylinders, that's four flexor rays, to increase its efficiency and reduce the amount of diesel it burns. So in the future, the Magnus effect may help more than just basketballs fly. Oh, look at that go! <laughs> now the real reason my friends from How Ridiculous were at the huh. dam was to set the world record for the highest basket ever scored. So go check out their channel and the video and uh, subscribe to them for more epic huh. trick shots. It's pretty cool though. So that is the Magnus effect. So I guess there's two Magnus's effect in this world. The spell that I put on those females that decide to be involved with greenness. And the whole drag airlift thing with basketballs. Post comments down below. Let me know what y'all thought. It's pretty interesting. <laughs> Always been a science guy. When I was in high school, I aced all my science and biology, all those classes, except for chemistry, hated chemistry. But everything that had to do with science, I aced. And you know why? Half the time when I was at home, I was always watching all the science shows on Channel 12, you know, public television, with Sesame Street and none of them shows coming on. Always watching them. And half the time when I would read the biology books, read the science books. I already knew what they were talking about when they brought it up. You know, I mean, I'd be raising my hand, answering all the damn questions that the teacher had. The teacher was always like, oh, yeah, because I love science like that. I'm a big science guy. I like animals, science, and electricity, and all that stuff. I love all that stuff. So that was interesting to me. Post your comments down below if you enjoyed my reaction. Hit the like button, subscribe, and share. If you did not, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. One million subscribers. Woo!